This is so good for your golf swing because of its simplicity. Common problem of moving off the ball too much or just trying to do too much with the body, whether it's because you've been watching too much golf instruction and you're trying to hit all these different sort of positions that you think the body has to do so much. And yes, we've got to use the body. Of course we do. But we have to minimize the variables, okay? All I want you to do is imagine a flagpole from the top of your head, from the, all the way down, through your neck, out your, down your spine, and out your backside, right? That's it. And from there, we are going to use our pivot around that and get better at doing that. Because it's not so much about turning. It's not so much all about hand movements and placing positions. It's about using a pivot and doing it on a consistent basis. And that visual is something that has helped so many of my golfers. And I use it all the time when I'm playing with either a new student or people that I'm just having a random round with because this is a common problem of trying to do too much. And I don't want that to be for you any longer. And this visual works every single time. So imagine a line going all the way through me, okay? From here all the way out the spine. And what that's gonna do, that's not gonna make me rigid, or it's, it shouldn't. It shouldn't lock me in place. It doesn't mean that I can't sort of allow my body to move around that central point, but that's it. That is my constant through my sternum here. The more you practice it, the more you get used to it, and don't worry about anything else. Just stay centered. As you can see from up here, we are still imagining that flagpole that's going all the way through me. Now, as I swing, I turn and wind up around that flagpole. It is so simple. I allow my hips to move. I allow my core to sort of wind up and my arms just free flow. But with the visual of staying centered, I have a repeatable action. Does this work with the driver? I hear you say, well, yes, it does. All you have to do is adjust your setup a little bit and just bear this in mind. So your setup is just gonna have a little bit more tilt because we want to be hitting on the upswing slightly. That's kind of the simplest way to think of it. So you can just place your trail hand on your thigh, slide down a bit there. Notice I'm not sort of leaning everything. I'm just, you know, tilting back. So I've got this slight angle in everything, which will help hit it up. But for that central view, okay, how we're going to picture this, instead of it being quite so much through the head and through the spine, it can, that's perfectly fine. But if you just want to fine tune it, imagine it out of just the flagpole is just sort of the left side or the lead side of your head here, right? Coming down to the chest. This is where the flagpole is. And that's where I'm sort of turning around and then staying behind to kind of catapult, release the swing that way, right? Yes, I still sort of come up afterwards, but having the visual here, it can be a wall, it can be a flagpole, whatever sensation you want. And it works for pitching too. It's great for pitching because we often see too much kind of movement or trying to be a bit too hands and arms. With that visual of the flagpole going straight the way through us, we are now winding up around that point. We've just got a constant. So even if you want to get used to practicing this, try a few little pitch shots first, okay? Get used to it and maintain it and become aware just a little bit of how it feels to you. Does it feel that you're staying in balance? Does it feel like you're applying the pressure inside the feet? Start small, then bigger. Something I wanna get through to each and every one of you is don't get bogged down with minutia, okay? This is about the feels to you. And this is giving you a visual to apply those feels to what it means to you. And I'm able to sort of wind up around that point. I tell you another thing, when you're feeling a bit of pressure or you're bogged down with too many swing thoughts, this is a fantastic one. And it worked for me during a pro tournament and I was so nervous, I was thinking about too many things, I started really badly the first two, three holes, and I remembered this. And I shot, I think it was like five under for like the last 14, hot, four, 14 15 holes. It worked to treat because it gave me something solid 
to work around. So we've talked about the flagpole from this perspective, okay? You can also think about it from up above, whatever works for you. But I also want to help you with the maintaining of your posture as you swing through, because I talk about the pivots, okay? We don't want to be swinging too flat. We don't want to be trying to turn the shoulders too flat here. Not only is that going to lose the flagpole sort of that way, it's actually going to sort of lose it this way. And even though the, we can think of the flagpole going straight up, it might be beneficial for a lot of you, especially if you find that you have that early extension, where you kind of try and release through and push it that way. It might actually really help you to picture the flagpole going on an angle here, okay? So it's going through your sternum, through your spine, and out this way and planting you. And what that's going to do is enable you to pivot, all right, and allow the flow to happen around that point, keeping that flagpole. And we reverse it, we maintain that swing around the flagpole, then we swing through. Now, of course, you don't like hold on to it the whole time, and that's why it's all about feel. We allow ourselves to come out of that sort of angle, obviously. We don't want to force the body too much, but that visualization can really help you maintain posture and sort of rotate and swing through without trying to do too much. It isn't about keeping the head down, it's just about keeping those angles so we can repeat, all right? But instead of thinking, I've got to keep my butt back or I've got to, you know, squeeze my core as I come down, which all things that can... Yes, we want feelings of, you know, using the pressure, closing the gap from the lead shoulder to the lead knee, all right? That's a good feeling, but you know what? It's a lot easier just to imagine that flagpole going all the way through you, spiking you into the ground, and then from there, you swing around it. Dead simple, okay? So you imagine that flagpole, you go around it, and you swing with freedom. It's easy. So there we have it. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, let me know. There is beauty in simplicity. Try it, especially when you're out on the golf course and notice how much more consistent you're gonna be.